This video is another video in the series on OPC Systems HMI Dashboard Template Application. If you have not already reviewed the introductory video on the HMI Template Dashboard Template, please do so at this point. This video we're going to focus on the use of reports and also documents within our HMI application. So we're going to start up Visual Studio and we have open here a Windows Power window that we've developed. And this is a sample uh, window for you to use and to modify, uh, make copies of, however you want to. But you'll notice within this window on our header we have two different objects here. One is for reports and the other for documents. And these are going to link to two different windows that we have created which are our reports window and our documents window. There's our documents window and we'll open that up. And you can see it's pretty much a blank. It's got a document viewer on there. And also our reports window. And again, um, also pretty much blank. So let's go back to our power window where we're linking these two. And you can see we have our two click events here based off these two buttons. The first one is button report. And then the other one is button file. So let's take a look at how those are linked. We'll come back over here to our power window and we'll check out our VB code here. And here is our button reports click and our button file click. And then we're setting the path in that documents window, which is a property of that particular window. And our default path here is to our uh, program files group for open automation software. And here we have a sample file. It's an HTML report file. And you can create reports if you uh, take a look at the videos on our report.net feature that will describe how to set up your own reports files. So here's where we're going to find the path and the name of that file. And then the same thing here with our button file click. And then here we have that same path to our OPC systems uh, program file group in the demo files folder and we have an XPS file here. Now an XPS file is a Microsoft default file format and most files can be converted to that so if you want to talk about PDFs or something like that you can use a the print the built-in Microsoft print driver to convert those to XPF files and then very easily display them in your application. So let's just run this and take a look at what we're talking about here and see the results of this. I'm going to log into my application and here we have that same power window up and running right here and we have our reports button and our documents button here and our reports button here. Click on that report button. It's going to pull in that sample report based off that HTML file in our OPC systems directory. So very easy to set this up so that you can build and display your own reports within your application. Now the document file will pull up an OPC systems document here that's an XPS document and you can see we can display that and both of these allow you to print the files to uh, view them in various width and formats so got a lot of flexibility there. So that's a quick video on how to set that up and how to create your own reports and document within your OPC systems dashboard HMI. For more information on OPC Systems products and features, please visit our website at www.opcsystems.com. Thank you.